if we have a right triangle, <clears throat> then uh, we know that triangles, similar triangles, are triangles that have the same angles. And the size of the triangle um, uh, doesn't really matter if you divide two lengths of the sides. And so that means that dividing two sides of a triangle um, uh, gives us something of a constant uh, for a set triangle with, with set angles. And so we get we have six different ways to divide the two sides of or sorry to divide two of the three sides of a triangle. For a right triangle, we will label our sides of the triangle relative to a given angle. So I'm going to let say let theta be uh, one of the acute angles, so not the right angle of a right triangle. Now relative to that angle, our three sides can be labeled. The hypotenuse is the side the longest side of the triangle. So that's this side right here, hypotenuse, okay? And the hypotenuse um, is the angle that is, uh, is opposite of the right angle, okay? From theta, if you go directly across from the angle theta, okay, and look at that side, that is going to be what we call the opposite, okay? And then the third side, the side that, that connects the angle theta, to the right angle, we'll call that the adjacent side, okay, because it is adjacent to the angle, but it's not the hypotenuse. So those three sides, now we can combine those in six different ways, and these are the six trigonometric functions. We've got the sine, and I'm going to go write that out as a full word, the sine, which takes the opposite side and divides by the hypotenuse. Okay. The cosine of an angle, takes the adjacent side and divides by the hypotenuse. And the tangent of an angle takes the opposite uh, side and divides by the adjacent. Okay? If you flip those around, you get these, um, these other three functions. This first one is the cosecant. The cosecant of an angle is the hypotenuse divided by the opposite. Notice that that is just the reciprocal of the sine function. The secant function is the reciprocal of the cosine function. That's where we take the hypotenuse and divide by the adjacent. And then the cotangent, that is the reciprocal of the tangent function. We take the adjacent side and divide by the opposite. And uh, <clears throat> because here we're just talking about a right triangle, then all right triangles with a given angle theta will be similar to each other which means it actually doesn't matter what size triangle you have. If you have a right triangle with a right angle and an angle theta, then each of these quotients is already is fixed, and it won't change depending on the size of the triangle. Let's look at an example of actually evaluating these, these six functions. We have this triangle here, the right triangle. We've got two side lengths, three and four, um, but we don't have the hypotenuse here. Okay, the longest side, the side that's opposite the right angle. But we can find it because we do have the Pythagorean theorem, which says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So we can find that. Here we've got the two legs of the right triangle. So those are a and b. And we can find the hypotenuse c. So we have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. That's 9 plus 16 is equal to c squared. In other words, 25 is equal to c squared. We take the square root to get c is equal to 5. So now we know all three sides of the triangle. Now, we are talking about the angle theta here and getting the trigonometric uh, functions of that angle, which means we're going to label the sides of our triangle relative to this angle. Okay. We have here the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Um, but then... Relative to this angle theta, over here is the opposite, and here is the adjacent. And now we're ready to find those six trigon trigonometric functions. Sine of an angle is, and I'm going to go ahead and write this, but I'm going to abbreviate it. Okay, It's opposite over hypotenuse, which in this case is 3 over 5. Cosine of an angle is the adjacent over hypotenuse. That's 4 over 5. 
and a tangent of an angle is the opposite divided by the adjacent, which in this case is 3 over 4. We also have the reciprocals of these. Okay, The reciprocal of the sine function is the cosecant function. Cosecant of theta is hypotenuse over opposite, or 5 thirds for this triangle. The secant is the reciprocal of the cosine function, and that's hypotenuse over adjacent. For this triangle, that's 5 fourths. And finally, the cotangent of an angle is the reciprocal of the tangent, which is adjacent over opposite, which for this triangle is 4 thirds. So those are the six trigonometric functions of this angle theta.